Hey guys, um, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak the 2.0 firmware um, on the iPhone and iPod Touch. Um, not the iPhone 3G, I do not know if this will work with it yet, but, um, well actually I don't think it will because you cannot have 1.4 on the iPhone 3G. Okay, um, and to be able to do this you have to start out on 1.1.4. So if you have already upgraded, you're just just wait till the official version of OnePhone comes out because this is not the actual version of OnePhone. And uh, this will only give you a uh, Cydia installer, which is not installer, and it does not have really any packages yet because they have to convert everything to where to work with 2.0. But uh, if you want to SSH in your phone and stuff, and this will be like, I will have a video probably soon on how to get monkey ball free so be looking for that I may have it just as soon as I can get it done I've been working really hard on getting monkey ball and other apps free but uh, just keep looking out for that um, but you have to be on uh, 1.4 and you need the latest version of one phone not the it hasn't released for 2.0 yet you can actually do this without the uh, release of the new one phone so I'm, I'm going and you're gonna have to download some stuff. So go ahead and in the video description to the right over there, or actually down here somewhere, um, you will have some links. You're gonna need to download uh, WinPone if you don't have, if you do not have that. Download WinPone and you will need to download the. Uh, you're gonna need to download the 1.1.4 firmware and the custom 2.0 firmware. And this is the official custom 2.0 firmware. So uh, now we're gonna go to the video. Okay, um, I didn't say this before, but um, if you have an iPod Touch, make sure you download the iPod Touch firmware, and if you have iPhone, make sure you download iPhone firmware, because installing your own glue would break your break your phone or iPod. Okay, once you've got them uh, installed, make sure you save them to the desktop, your the firmware, and uh, you're gonna need to install one phone, just run the setup file, and then it will explain the installation process of that. So open WinPhone up once you've got everything installed and downloaded. Open up WinPhone. Now make sure you have, uh, well first you're going to need to plug up your iPhone or iPod Touch to your computer. Okay, just read it. Then iTunes may pop up for me. I don't know, yeah, okay. You have to have, uh, just, I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to close it, quit, just trying to sync, um, you have to have iTunes closed while doing this because that will, it will not work right. Okay, the first thing you're going to have to do is hit the browse IPSW uh, button right here. Now you're going to uh, go up, if you're not on the desktop already where you saved the firmwares, you're going to go to the up arrow, just keep it in the up arrow until you get to the desktop, and then you're going to select the, uh, 1.1.4 firmware. Make sure you don't select the 2.0 custom firmware. You're going to select the 1.1.4 restore file. Okay. Let's see, it says uh, be sure to connect an iPhone. And it will say be sure to connect an iPod if you did an iPod. Okay, now, like, it's not normally like poning when you do it here because the official one phone is not released. And I will make a video once the official one phone is released. It's a lot easier. Well, not really, but, um, You'll be able to make your own custom firmware with custom logos and everything like that. Okay, what you're going to do is hit the iPhoneer button right here, and it is going to pwn your iPhone. Registering callbacks, unzipping, found device, product ID, iPhone connected. Just be patient. The process only takes a minute or so. Okay, it's creating a RAM disk, padding a RAM disk. And it will say your iPhone, your iPhone is set into recovery mode. Don't hit cancel. Okay. Now it says, do not hit OK here. It says your iPhone is being pwned. Please wait for reboot. Do not hit OK. All right. Now you're gonna need to close iTunes if it pops up. Okay. Just be patient. It will do some stuff. You will see the text on your iPhone. That is normal. Don't don't freak out. <laughs> Okay, and now mine is done. You'll see the Apple logo. And soon, when the new version of Impulse comes out, we'll be able to make your own 2.0 custom firmware. We just can't do that yet. 
it is rebooting now we're just about done okay and there you go your iPhone is Pwn but now we have to um, now iTunes will pop up or it should or just open iTunes if it doesn't pop up now it's saying that there's a new version of 2.0 I'm just going to close that out minimize iTunes and then now you can hit OK your iPhone has been pwned it will say just hit OK now you can close out um, when pwned now what we're going to do is since it's been pwned which will let you write or um, use custom firmwares with uh, the, with unsigned firmwares it's Apple has not signed okay so what you're going to do go to your iPhone or iPod touch tab and you're going to do a shift restore um, not you don't just hit the restore button you're gonna hold I'm gonna press in the shift key keep holding it while clicking restore you don't have to do it at the same time just like keep holding and shift click restore it's simple and then you'll get this window that pops up now you're gonna navigate to your desktop or wherever you save the uh, firmware file and you're gonna select the 2.0 uh, custom restore firm firmware okay if you hear my dog sorry about that okay you're gonna select this and it should start restoring make sure you have your iPhone plugged up select this and there you go your iPhone will be it will restore it takes a little bit so just be patient and the 2.0 firmware takes longer than normal so like go longer than normally just restoring or updating does so just be patient it takes a little bit um, and that's basically it. Once you restore, it should have you should have a jailbroken iPhone. It does not have the installer yet. Once uh, the WinPhone comes out, I'm sure they'll have installer done by then. They're working on a new version of a uh, installer uh, 4.0 is what it's called. <coughs> or I'm gonna end the video here. Just let it restore, and there you go. And then you have the jailbroken uh, iPhone or iPod Touch on 2.0. Thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe to keep up to date. And donations help on tiesiphonehelp.com. Alright, bye.